well i hope you people have solved you have tried to solve this example but we yes we have to apply the conventional methods uh, methods that we people have uh, learned till now but there are few things that we always we always do mistakes sir fine so the very first thing that when you apply loop number 1 the very first mistake when you apply loop number 1 we started this way is rise of 10 volts minus 10 into i1 so this is a fall this is the fall plus minus this is plus minus and the way in loop number 1 so i1 is the maximum current among all the current so it's i1 minus i2 uh this is the current is flowing so i can say that it's minus i1 minus i2 into 1 and uh, then here one of the student has written this minus 5 which is equal to 0 unnatural activity guys guys voltage ohms ampere voltage ampere ohms voltage ampere kaise how <laughs> not possible mm -hmm. not possible so this is a general mistake that everybody is uh, doing aur baad mein are jordar kvl equation lapi use fine and we don't get the marks this is a reason of it fine i guess it is clear where the problem was problem was you cannot write on ampere this way right your entire equation is the equation of voltage how can you insert You cannot add or subtract the ampere out of it. Come in here, sir. Dear partners, that you know, that's why I didn't know. Okay. So why it was not happening properly? So there is something what we have, which is a new concept over here. We are having right now. It is called as concept of supermatch. What do they say? Supermatch. Fine. This is supermatch. how to identify how to identify if if in between two loops we have a current source if in between two loops we have a current source it is considered as supermatch that entire portion is considered as supermatch that entire portion is considered as supermatch so this is our supermatch this is our supermatch this is normal match but this is a super match is it clear or not fine okay now how to identify we understood if in between any two loops we have a current source then it becomes super match obviously if it is super match the the treatment what will be giving into it will be super fine it will not be the conventional one so how to solve this kind of example so there are two things we will remember there are two things we will remember the first first we will find out we will find out the relationship we will find out the relationship in between two loop currents we will find out the relationship in between two loop currents in terms of given current source we will find out the relationship in between these two loop currents in terms of given current source how will we able to do it see let's say for an example this is 10 ampere this is 5 ampere 10 for you 1995 is it clear according to the given direction of current here we can definitely understand in comparison of i1 or say in between i1 and i3 which one is a bigger current i3 is a bigger one right and you have made that mistake that she has written it is i3 minus i1 which is equal to 5 sorry she has written i1 minus i3 is equal to 5 you cannot write this you have understood that we need to find out the relation between these two current in terms of given current so that means we can see fine i3 is going this way i1 is coming this way and the net current is flowing in the direction of i3 so obviously i3 is dominating is it clear fine so this one is correct one that i3 minus i1 is 5 ampere so what we have done we have calculated we have found we have found the relationship in between two loop currents in terms of given current source is it clear 
Is it clear? Find what to do. Find relationship in between two loop currents in terms of given current source. Is it clear? Any doubt on this? Fine. So this is the first the thumb rule that we'll be following. You know, we know how to do it, how to solve it, but we never know what is the rule behind it. Correct? You did it, but you're not doing the rule. This is what you have to apply. This is the method. Is it clear? Fine. So let's say first rule is done. Second rule. Rule number two. There also you have mistaken. I mean you have applied it properly, but there was something which was not there in it. We will see that. Fine. So first thing is done, okay. So and as such we cannot apply such kind of a KVL, it's, it's not possible because we are having a current source over here. So what will we do? We will apply KVL into outer loop. We will apply KVL into outer loop. Hum kaha pe KVL apply karenge? Outer loop mein apply karenge. Apply, second thing is apply KVL in outer loop. Is it clear? Apply KVL in outer loop. So how to do that? So I have got first equation over here that is I3 minus I1 is equal to 5. Is it clear? From this statement we made this equation. Fine. Now apply KVL in outer loop. Isse pehle hum kya karte the? Ghar ke andar ja ke pura loop laga the. And we used to go inside the loop and we were applying the loop. Now what we'll do? We'll just, we'll be just, you know, traveling like this on the border of that particular house and we'll see what current is doing what the thing with the resistor fine with which resistor what current is multiplied and is giving the voltage fine okay okay so let's see i i, I should start it this way uh minus two plus it's i'm sorry it's minus two plus it's rise of 10 volts here it's plus minus i1 into 10 here it is plus minus this is i1 minus i2 because whatever loop in which we are traveling that loop current is considered to be the maximum loop current among all the loop currents okay so this is i1 minus i2 because i am in first loop okay then i will come here i1 minus i2 into 1 then i will come over here and i will flow this way i will go this way i am in third loop i am in third loop this is plus sorry this is plus minus so i3 minus i2 current is there i3 minus i2 i3 minus i2 okay and here again the current is plus minus i3 is it clear fine you forgot one thing right you have not written this step okay or they, that term so let's say we have uh, uh, we have here here uh, we have plus 10 minus 10 i1 minus 1 i1 minus i2 then uh, minus 2 i3 minus i2 minus 3 i3 is equal to 0 so i have got second equation fine okay so i have got first equation i have got second equation how many unknowns do i have i have three unknowns fine i still cannot solve i need a third equation so i have used the first and second loop Fine, first and third loop, fine, I have still applied KVL into the second loop, so now I will apply KVL into second loop. So let's say, how can I get? So current is flowing like this, it is plus minus, current is flowing like this, so it is plus minus. So what is this current? It's I2 minus I3. Is it clear? It is I2 minus I3 because I am traveling in second loop, so I2 is the maximum current. And here, current is flowing like this, so this is plus and this is minus. Is that clear? Fine, so let's apply KVL in that particular loop. So in loop 2, uh, minus 2 into I2, minus 2 into this current is I2 minus I3, I2 minus I3 and uh, this current, and this current is I2 minus I1, is it clear? I2 minus I1, so I have minus 1 into I2 minus I1 which is equal to 0. Is it clear? Any doubt on this? Cool. So I have got the third equation as well. Three equations, three unknowns. We can solve it. Fine. Write down. 